If you've spent any time on social media, it's likely that you've come across at least one Halloween makeup look that took your breath away. And if you're anything like me, you probably left wondering, how did they do that? To answer that question, we've brought in our favorite beauty expert and owner of Platinum Imagination, Angelique Verver. She's here with Tana Jacobson to show us how we can achieve these Halloween looks that will keep all eyes on you this Halloween. <gasps> spooky, <Right>. spooky. <laughs> That's good. That's great. Ooh, <laughs> spooky. Yes. So you're going to show us how to take the spider you started with, which is a basic drawing, yes. and turn it into a three-dimensional yes. spooky spider. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So something very simple that if you just don't really have a costume and you want to have like some fun with it and you just want to dress it up a little bit, even if you're going to like an office party or something, I mean it's still something fun. Yeah. Yeah. It can be super spooky or it can be like kind of dressy and you know kind of pretty too. So yeah, I love the outfit uh, with it. Yeah, yeah I know her really whole really outfit. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And you can kind of just pick and choose where you want this to go right. on the face, right? Exactly. It could be right in your eye. It could be anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Some people have drawn them out of their mouth. Mouth, like oh, that gets really spooky. Oh, yeah, I know that, oh. that one's pretty creepy. Uh, but yeah, so you can you can totally do this to your personality, like however you wanted to kind of do it. But um, today I just chose, you know, for her eye because it's kind of funky coming out of her eye. Yeah. And then um, I started drawing one here, so that way you can kind of see like what the basic sort of step is. So you start by drawing your spider, however you want to draw it. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be multiples. You can make it a black widow. You could do whatever you wanted with yeah. it. Um, and so we started with that, but then we want to make it jump off of her skin. So that's where the fun part comes in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go in and we start with just so basically if you have contour powder which is more of kind of a gray color that's what you're gonna look for because you're gonna want to look for something for like to make that shadow and you want to decide like where your light is coming at so say like the light is coming down like this way so we're gonna just start by putting like a little bit of color like right underneath like where the legs are at. So that's kind of where the light, you always want to kind of follow your pattern of the light. I was gonna there. say so that's how you're figuring out where the, the shadows go. So yes. um, I'm looking at the other one too. So just follow the light and put the shadow on the where, where it would it. fall underneath. Yeah. Okay. So if you knew if the spotlight was coming down, like where would it shadow enough for you know like underneath the legs? Like where would it show like the kind of the leg pattern with okay. that? So that's what you want to do with that. Ooh. And then you just kind of go around and like make your make your shadows, and you can kind of go around the body. Um, you can use black for that, so that way. You know, it gets a little bit more mm -hmm. um, with that. I and suppose then, you just kind of like build, build it up a little yeah. as you go. You just kind of keep on adding layers because it's the layers that actually what makes it like pop out. Mm -hmm. um, so the more layers you add, the more that you can kind of fool the eye that it's not real. So we right. do that. I even see some white on the other spider, like yes. some with fuzzy some legs. Yeah, <laughs> some fuzzy kind of highlights. So yeah, so you go in there with that. And then you want to go in with a little tiny bit of white. And you just want to touch like just a little bit like on the body. You can do that because obviously the body would be kind of shiny. Okay. And um, oops, let me get a little bit more on so there. So you would want to try to create, create that like in that that feeling that the spider's body is rounded out. Exactly. Like, Actually, yeah, like look at yeah. the one on Angelique's face. It's yeah. perfectly yeah. rounded just out, when, yeah. Well, like when you add the highlight to it, it actually, you know, just makes it like really stand out. Mm -hmm. So then you kind of go through there and you add just a little tiny bit of white, like in the little leg area. Oh yeah, that makes it look really, yeah. really like. Yeah, so then it really starts making it kind of come alive because that's the way a real spider would look. Like its little legs would be kind of ah. shiny. And oh, <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah. So, yeah, and the more that you kind of shade it out and you kind of add to it, like it just really gives it a little bit more of a kind of cool appearance. So, oh, that's really cool. So cool. Yeah. Okay, now would you, are there more steps or is this? No. Okay, I'm just making sure, like, <laughs> I don't want to cut you off, but what about, like, spider webs? Yes, yeah. you can totally, totally do, like, yeah, you can totally draw a spider web. So if you wanted to do that, like, you can just I go in I wanted to be there. careful. I was like, I don't want to ask about the spider webs. Yeah, you can totally go in here and, like, do, like, we can start here, and we can go in and draw, like, a quick spider web around here like this. Oh, yeah. And then, like, here. See, that's kind of a fun that addition is. to do like a spider web. Right, or I was thinking even baby spiders, like little oh, spider yeah. spiders, done, like the. the they've kids. done like little baby spiders, you know, where they have that. So, yeah, you can go in there and draw like little spider webs like yeah. that. Um, they've also colored those in so you can make these glittery, <gasps> like if you really wanted to. Oh, so, again, yeah. if you were going for more of an elegant kind of type thing, like you wanted to dress it up a little bit, you could definitely go in there and make that more of just like a glitter, like a silver glitter. I've seen that. That's really cool. Would you so, ever yeah. consider adding like a shimmer to the actual spider where you did the highlights? Sure. Maybe to yeah, if you, wanted, if you wanted it to be, oh, I don't have my glitter. Oh, yeah, no, actually, I do. Here. <laughs> yeah, I was smart. I did, I brought it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you could go in there and add like 
a tiny shimmer. little bit yeah. of glitter to it. Like if you want to Right, it can that. even match uh, her outfit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So let's take a step back to spiders out of your mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Would you just do a couple legs crawling up yeah, trying so to get out? Yeah, so they literally have it to where the legs are coming out from the top and the legs are coming out from the bottom, so it, lo it looks like it's coming out through your mouth. Like, it's pretty creepy looking. Would you uh, like that? No, no. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not what I'm after. Okay, so how about some just general tips for Halloween makeup? Getting it to stay through yes. the night, you know, using things you have versus other products. Just yes. general things that people, this Halloween may want to take into Absolutely. consideration. Absolutely. So generally you want to try to use like a primer, um, especially if you're oily, you know, we all know just in general makeup, like if you're very oily, you want to start with a good base with that. Um, and then you want to make sure you powder really well because that's going to help it stay. Um, and then do a sealing spray afterwards. So if you do the sealing spray over the top, it is definitely going to help it stay for a lot longer. What's that called? Uh, the sealing spray. Okay. Okay. That, well, the one that's most accessible for everybody is Urban Decay All Nighter, which that one pretty much will make it go all night. So, <laughs> so you spray yeah, over it and just, just spray all over it and it'll help seal it on. Like lip color. So for Tona, we just did a regular lip color, but if you use a, like a long wear lip color, then it'll also go like for hours. So you can party throughout the night and it still will all be on there and really? it'll all be good. So would you add any to your arms and stuff too? Because yeah. I'm already feeling them crawling. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Jeez, okay, okay. So yeah. anywhere. I mean some people have done them to where they come all the way up their chest, wow. and up their neck. I mean it depends no. on how much no, time you, you have and like you know how much time you want to spend well. on it. But yeah, I mean that's why the beauty of this is you can be as simple as you want or you can go as elaborate and as fun as you want to. Well, so on that note, I'm quite thankful we're out of time. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks.